All right, let's talk about focused update for USMLE exams in 2025. So first is step one. Step one is still pass and fail. This was announced back in 2022. And those who pass will no longer receive the three digit numeric score. But those who fail will receive something called as performance profile. And that will tell how far they are from the passing standards in order for them to improve. Second one is USMLE Step 2 CK. There are no big changes for USMLE Step 2 CK exam. It's still an MCQ based exam. It's nine hour longs and you can have 45 minutes of break and 15 minutes of tutorial. And the passing score is 214. And with the shift of USMLE Step 1 pass and fail, now more and more focus is on holistic approach as well as uh, scoring good on USMLE Step 2 as well as USMLE Step 3 examinations. The third one is uh, USMLE Step 3. So after January 2024, the passing standard now is score of 200. And otherwise, everything still is same. It's still a two-day exam uh, com consisting of MCQ exam. Otherwise, uh, you also have computer-based uh, clinical simulation scenarios. That's also called as CCS cases. Fourth one is uh, just a shift from the terminologies in the content outline. The earlier category of general principles of foundational sciences is now moved to organ, sy organ system categories called as human development. Otherwise, there are no overall changes in the content, just um, the renaming the things. Um, now, the organ system categories are called as human development instead of general principles and foundational sciences. Fifth is important one, that's attempt limits. For all the steps, if you have an attempt in a USMLE exams four or more times, that means you attempted USMLE exams four or more times without passing. This also includes the previous CS examination. So if you have that attempt more than or equal to four times, you are no longer eligible to appear for USMLE exams. And it's also important to keep in mind that some states require you to pass all the all the steps of USMLE exams within seven years. And some states may also require you to get ECA from the certificate depending on the states where you are going. Uh, this is not a USMLE, USMLE or NBME per se requirement, but these are state dependent uh, requirements. And then sixth one, ultimately they are planning to um, have everything at a one stop. So in order to make uh, transitions and all the um, registration processes seamless. So USMD and DO students uh, have a new portal for USMLE step one and step two examination that's called as my USMLE portal uh, where you can register for step one and step two CK. USMLE step three is still in FSMB as of now where I'm making the video in April 2025 but eventually they will also shift everything to NBME so that's uh, my USMLE portal but still more news has to uh, come or yet to come. Uh, for IMGs, uh, as of April 2024, it is still ECFMG, but by mid-2025, they will shift everything to FSMB. So initially in FSMB, we only register for USMLE Step 3 exam as an IMG, uh, but uh, by mid-2025, they are planning to shift everything, all the registration processes to FSMB. So now you have everything, USMLE Step 1, Step 2, and Step 3 with FSMB, okay? Um, then about exam fees, that's our eighth discussion point. So uh, from January 2025, USMLE Step 2, uh, CK and USMLE Step 1 will now cost $1,020. This is without international surcharges, okay? So plan your journey um, accordingly. And for USMLE Step 3, the fees is around $935, which is supposed to be paid to FSMB. And for ninth, this is uh, an update for Canadian medical students. Now, Canadian medical students will be regarded as international medical graduates from July 1, 2025. And they will also need ECFMG certificate from July 1, 2025 onwards. And then lastly, I would say uh, you should keep an eye and try to register on the newsletters from USMLE, ECFMG, NBME, FSMG, uh, FSMB, and as well as uh, USMLE Strike for uh, more and more updates. Please check USMLE Strike websites. We have step one, step two, and step three courses. We also offer interview preparation, CV editing, as well as uh, match services. Uh, 
uh, which includes uh, interview preparation, uh, CV editing, as well as personal statement editing with 24-7 WhatsApp uh, chat support. So please check out your assembly stack website and please also don't forget to check out my Instagram. I'll be happy to answer your questions via Instagram DMs. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.